to the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with John Stoltrager, head coach of the men's and women's swimming programs. And coach, you guys travel up to a conference opponent and pretty good rival we've got going with Messiah. You guys swim really well in that race. Yeah, we swam swam really, really well. Again, coming off of the 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 training that we're doing, the volume that we're doing, the intensity, you never really know how the meet's going to actually come out. And, and I have to say that the kids swam amazingly well. I mean, for as tired as they are to come out and very first event break our team record in the 200 medley relay by over two seconds um, and beat Messiah on top of it, um, you know, it was a great way to start the meet. And it's a little bit of a precursor for the MAC meet that you guys got coming up in February. How these meets that you have with conference opponents are just an uh, opportunity for you to size up the competition. Sure. It's it's a great way to swim against really good kids, know where you're going to be at it, at the conference meet. Um, and, again, I mean, the big thing is to, to swim fast and, and to you always want to race. You mm-hmm. know, no matter what the outcome is of the meet, you always want to push yourself and challenge yourself, especially, you know, this time of year where you're tired. And, and again, you're teaching your body how to swim fast when it's tired. And in those tired moments, though, you still get lifetime best uh, swims and times. Yeah, we had actually a couple of lifetime bests. Steven Kratzer did a lifetime best in his Hunter Fly. Um, we had Adriana Camosa. She did a lifetime best in her 100 breaststroke. Um, we had a, a team record in the 100 Fly, although it wasn't a lifetime best. It was still a great swim by Izzy Ramslin. Um, I mean, across the board, we just had we had really good swims. I was, you know, I was hopeful that we do well, but I, I couldn't even expect to for us to swim as well as we did. And all after being tired and going through that crazy training regimen that you had in the uh, the winter break. Yeah, I mean, the kids are swimming between four and five hours a day, every yeah. day, and, and lifting on top of it. And, you know, again, for them to push themselves and, and to swim as well as they did, I think they're setting themselves up for a phenomenal conference championship. Well, it's awfully exciting to see these records keep going down and lifetime best to keep on improving yeah i mean it gives the kids motivation you know we have one more week of doubles and then we start our shaving or our rest for our shaving taper meet so again it gives them some some motivation to to keep working one more week of doubles and then it's time to rest and you guys after the winter break training regiment that you had you play you compete against messiah this week it'll be a different type of regiment before you had to guide that yeah, it's, you know, ag- again, we'll we'll keep the pedal to the metal. Um, we'll swim galley debt this weekend. We'll get to swim 200s a stroke, which we haven't done yet this semester. So I'm fully expecting some some really good swims from them in, in those events. And, you know, again, just see if we can break a couple more records and, and do a couple more lifetime bests. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck down at galley debt. Great, thanks. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Show.